How's it going everybody? Monkey Nuts here. Welcome back to Alchemy Factory Workshop where I make blueprints for my Let's Play series. Today, I'm doing something just slightly different. Somebody down there in the comments, AOG9234, said that I should try refining sand over and over and over again. So I figured I'd give it a shot. And what I've come up with, this this is gonna take way longer than I thought to come up with a better blueprint than this. But what happens is, we start with a bunch of stone crushers and I, I need to find a better way to stack these because this is taking up a lot of room. But those stone crushers feed their way into in some enhanced grinders underneath here. All right, just to show you, so the blueprint is three. So I've got three headed out like so. Then grab your enhanced grinder and put six enhanced grinders like this. We're going to grab some blocks and go too high right here. Now we want to hook these up like this. Once these are hooked up, we now need to put some more of these guys over here. Next, we need to bring these out like this. That way we can hook them up to the refiners. For the next step, we got, we have to cover these belts here. Grab some more grinders. We're gonna place six more right here. Now that we've got that complete, we'll have to head around the back here. and throw that up. We are also going to need these covered. Then we want to connect these just like we did down below. Okay, we don't want that to connect, so first I'm gonna throw that in and that should prevent that. Okay, that works much better, that's what we want. Do not want these two belts to connect. So let's grab these platforms, put them back over there. Now we need the stone crusher. So we'll place three of them. Oops. We've got to fill this in with block. Like a soap. Let's grab our conveyor lift. Make sure you press T to reverse it. Like so. So that is our stone crusher stack complete. Back on this side. Need to add a tall platform here. Grab an elevator. And then belt this across. And then belt this across. That's where we're going to get our limestone from. And for the top here, we want to do that. Yep. We'll extend these belts, grab some refiners. Now we want to place these like so, just four in a row. I have to remove that one. Now we need two elevators. Reverse them. Let's get these two hooked up now. So that is going to be that belt. And that belt. So that is complete. Now we'll just throw these here. And that is the quick little stacker blueprint I have come up with for the stone crushers. My, my problem now is trying to make this even smaller and stack higher. How, what? What do you guys do for stacking these? Is there a better method to get like directly over the top? Is there a way I can build up around it that doesn't confine me underneath a picnic table? Because I, I need three of these for each build and if I can only put two down there, that kind of really throws a, a wrench into my plans. Oh, I can't throw one 
down there at all. Okay. The problem lies with the next steps. So this process takes 15 refineries. You need 15 refineries in a straight line to make this process happen once you have the crushed stone. It turns it into sand with the grinders, and then these continue to refine it 15 times. Now the problem with that is each refinery, let's find one here, each refinery requires 45 per minute input to get 22.5 per minute output in order to keep one of these machines running making diamonds we need two making adamant 24 7. this stage here we need four we then need eight at this stage 16 at this stage the dull shards from the broken shards we're going to need 32 of these 64 of this stage 128 at this stage 256 at this stage 572 of these 1024 at this stage here of refiner for the next step pass here we've got this refiner we are going to need 2048 of these 4056 of this stage 8,112 right here, and we will need 16,224 in the first step, which means we're also going to need 16,224 stone crushers. Uh, I started building this and scaling it up, and then I started doing the math on it and realized this is not going to be doable today. And <laughs> this is going to take me a while to figure out and refine. I just wanted to show you guys what I was working on. And we have a diamond. Jewelry, it sells for 160 silver. That's not bad. It does, however, take an extreme amount of time to get it done. And these first several processes, all they do is just kick out what says refine sand. Refine sand in, refine sand out. And there's no discernible difference between them. So if you pick up one of these builds and end up with a bunch of this sand in your pocket, you're best off just throwing it away because trying to figure out which one of these machines it needs to be fed into is going to drive you nuts. What ideas have you guys come up with for diamonds, and what is the max rate you have been able to produce them at? I'm going to try to produce at least one diamond per minute. I'll get right on it, and I'll catch you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more Alchemy Factory and how I transform this into a more modular, compact build, smash that subscribe button and join me here for the next one. I'm Monkey Nuts. Have a good one, everybody.